Okay, here we are. This is a short talk along the way with uh, an old guy. I think you can know uh, by now who that would be. I'm going to invert. I have a jogger lady heading by. Uh, this is your friend Mike. Um, just a little short talk. I was out taking a nice walk today, kind of about a... Mm, I want to sit it's five and a half, or possibly six. I, you know, I could get in the car and drive it with a, you know, odometer. That, that is doable. I might do that someday. Anyhow, I just want to show you a little bit here. So here, I, I like to walk this route. Just so happens right now, there's a little bit of water in the irrigation ditch, and I can't make up my mind. It looks like at one time the water was higher, although you may not be able to see that either. It looks like it was higher, about three feet higher, not so awfully long ago, but I don't know. Uh, no mosquitoes, uh, no flies, and uh, just incredible weather out here. That it's a kind of an overcast day. It looks like earlier it might be raining over yonder, uh, but I think that's just mostly show. It, it, it kind of was a good show uh, that it, you know was rain appearing, but I don't think there's anything there. Anyhow, uh, it's just nice and cool out here, a little bit of breeze, and I just thought, why would I want to be sitting indoors? You know, you know, you got to turn on a fan to keep the air moving, because the it's still the, the radiant heat in a little trailer. You're gonna feel uncomfortably stifled. So anyhow, I just wanted to uh, do a little, show you what I ugh, what I do on my spare time. I'm gonna right down that canal there on the right hand side. I guess this is EBID, because look at that sign. Uh, and uh, so I guess it's technically, I don't know if you can legally drive that road or not. Although I'm pretty sure quite a few people do, and they don't really care what EBID has to say on the matter. But they, well, they do put up some no trespassing gates here and there, where you really, you would have to go way out of your way to drive that road. And that would be dumb. So anyway... It's, uh, this is right on the edge of what's called Masia Park, uh, which is an adjacent somewhat community too. I think it's I think it's a part of Las Cruces, I don't know. Or it might be a part of Masia. It's very weird because Masia over there and Las Cruces over here, there's gotta be a boundary between them, but I don't know what it is. Masia is the much older, it's the original settlement that the Spaniards, as they came through up north uh, hundreds of years ago, I wanna say in the 1600s they started, but they might have started in the 15s. I, I don't know my history. But at any rate, as they came through, Masia, Old Masia was uh, eh, pretty early on, I think, at least as early as the early 1800s, I believe. I don't know how far back it really goes. But uh, anyhow, a lot of that, that Spanish heritage as they were traveling north, there's just kind of remnants here, reminders here and there that you'll see, you know, like the name on a, on a sign mostly. Anyhow, it's a beautiful day, and I just was thinking, you know, as as the uh, things around us are, are kind of shifting and changing and, and morphing, we're getting some weird results, really. I mean, all over the world, I, I'm hearing reports on YouTube mainly of, you know, people are uh, suddenly opening up entirely new areas of knowledge and stuff that, as far as I know, haven't, haven't been around, or I wasn't paying attention, apparently. And it's just like a lot of personal growth and a lot of thriving and a lot of, you know, kind of getting back to what's real and sane. And this has nothing to do with Jesus. This is just, hey, let's just put down all this phony baloney modern garbage and get real. How about we grow our own food? <laughs> how about we, you know, eat, uh, I mean, how about we have blankets made out of wool instead of polystyrene or something? How about we eat real food, you know, uh, like from Earth? And uh, so at any rate, it's, it's a growing movement and I hope it, it's gaining strength, but... I think in the end, at least in America, in the Americas, it's probably going to get swept away uh, by this insane bunch, this other committee. Uh, this whole idea of, of injecting your brain with probes and communicating with aliens who are actually devils, if you'd like to know. Anyway, we're getting a lot of weird results. It's like that movie, The, the Matrix, there's a glitch in The Matrix. And it's sometimes I keep running into weird things like this, like the other day and today. I had this conversation with a woman, and it was just uncanny. I don't know how to describe it. But it was like she was irritated, very, very irritated with me because she believed that I was dragging in her into some sort of weird cult. And I was like, weird cult? What? Uh, what? I, I want nothing to do with you and your, your strange committee of... You know, it's like, you know who the strange committee was? Some of my best friends, uh, family members, just people I 
as I'm watching a video and I really like it, I think, you know, I bet you Nancy would like that. And I'm watching this out. And you know, I bet you John, yeah, mm, I, I, he would really be able to catch hold of this. So I sent the thing out. I forwarded it as a text to four or five people, but she was one of them. You would have thought that I'd sent her kitty porn or something. I, I, I don't understand. She was outraged that I would somehow impugn her good re reputation and, and drag it into this cult of weirdos who are watching, mm, uh, you know, horrible videos. It's like, yes, yeah, probably one of the most encouraging videos I've seen in years. I, I Very entertaining, too. Very well done. It's just an interview. But it's like, oh, yeah, I, I, I could do a plug eh, if, if I could remember the guy's name. I'll, I'll try to do that on the next video. It, it's not that hard to remember, and I could have written it down, but I don't I have a pen with me. I'm on the road. And uh, it's not Joe Dispenza. I know that. And it's not Greg Braden, although it's close to Braden in terms of style. But it's just this brilliant idea that has to do with <laughs> body diagnostics. And this guy, he was an, I guess he's an ex-chiropractor. I don't know what he does. I know he writes books. But uh, it, I just thought it was a great video. And uh, it's, uh, you know, body energy and stuff. But he, he just has this diagnostic, yes, no, yes, no, to get answers. The body will tell you, yeah, that's what the exact problem is. It, it'll diagnose it. And <laughs> he just gives it options. Is it A or B? Is it a mineral or is it a vitamin? Okay, it's a mineral. <laughs> Which mineral does it? Is it on an even line number or an odd line? Even, all right. Is it above five or below five? <laughs> He finds the stupid thing, boom, nails it right there and says, uh, you need uh, chromium and, blah, 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 you know, whatever. And people get better, like, fast. I don't know how much it's real, but it's entertaining. And, and, and I thought it was lively thinking, very interesting. And so uh, she became deeply offended by this. And I said, okay, well, I don't know why uh, I'm even talking to you. Bye. But it's like, how could you be offended? It would be like, me saying, hey, have you ever read Huckleberry Finn? That's an exciting bit of writing there. Excellently done. This is this is grade A authorship. You'll enjoy it. Weirdo, you're trying to drag me into the Twain cult, are you? Or next thing you know, I'll be a sex slave or something. It's like, something's wrong with you, sister. <laughs> adios and adios I'm going to get going again I'm picking them up, put them down I'm going to head back to the house and get some, probably some baked chicken I might make some rice or something like that anyway for dinner but uh, I don't actually care it doesn't matter because I already ate a pretty darn big lunch and I, I'm really not that hungry so anyway you guys have a good afternoon and it's so strangely cool here I just keep thinking this is mid-May it seems like we feel. I feel like we're about 12 or 14 degrees cooler than we ought to be but who am I to complain? God be thanked. You guys have a good day. Bye.